Good morning, or what is a cool, grey and cloudy day. It is Thursday, the July 20th. Uh, I'm in the Red Nook with a nice hot cup of tea. And a box to continue unboxing. Okay, so what I've got in here is this package continue releases for free RPG day, courtesy of David Salisbury at Fanboy 3. Uh, so I want to thank his generosity in providing me with uh, these titles to unbox and review. Uh, without his support, I would not be able to uh, obtain these titles. So the next thing we're going to look at is um, Avatar Legends, the role-playing game, Movers and Shakers, Quick Start Booklet. So, uh, Adventure in the Mover Industry, the Movers and Shakers Free RPG Day Booklet is a quick start rules guide and standalone adventure for Avatar Legends, the role-playing game. Session the Korra era, Movers and Shakers includes everything you need to run an exciting, singular story of your very own, or to play an episode in an ongoing campaign. You and your companions must safeguard the production of a new mover, Sengo, Lady of the Winds, from the Creeping Crystal Triad. But you can navigate the egos and tensions on set while dangerous triad members lurk about. Bowden himself has asked you to protect the production. He could think of no one better for the task than a capable and capable, mover-savvy group of heroes like you. So it contains a full quick start rules guide, giving you all the rules you need to start playing and have an epic first adventure. An adventure set in the core era in a mover, mover studio near U Bay, with the heroes facing the creeping crystal triad. Five regenerated character playbooks tailored to this adventure that help you jump into the action. Now this is published by Magpie Games, who um, at, uh, um, kickstarted the um, the Avatar Legends, the role playing game, um, to great success. Um, at, uh, based upon the uh, see the anime series uh, Avatar Legends, the role playing Avatar Legends, um, which I actually have to be honest that I've never seen and really don't know anything about. Um, just it's it's I've seen sort of like I've, I've now seen the role playing game about, but I've never sort of like I've not picked it up. But anyway, um, Magpie Games are perhaps best known for doing the Root role-playing game and I've done some unboxings of their titles and, and reviewed them uh, also the cartel role-playing game which is, which is really sort of like an incredibly um, dramatic uh, role-playing game but let's have a look at what we get in this so inside we've got the credits uh, explanation of the, the booklet overview uh, and explaining what an RPG is and who the heroes are Uh, quick overview of the rules and an explanation of the avatar verse um, which I've got to admit will be very useful for me um, and uh, the, the um, various aspects, aspects, aspects of the setting including bendings and trainings and how to play the game so playing to find out use of, got advice on my use of, uh, uh, use of safety tools that it involves a com conversation, framing scenes, and the like. Uh, also, um, moves and dice, how to, how they um, work, and the core elements of the game, fatigue, conditions, um, and so on. So, clear explanations, um, tidy presented, um, and we get on to moves. So we've got basic moves over here. Um, which include assess the situation, guide and comfort, intimidate, plead, push your luck, rely on your skills and training. So you've all got these and the results which can uh, can be generated. Um, so um, that's giving you advice. Also trick and help. Uh, then you go on to balance moves. Um, so every character has one of these, make, make their balance moves too, such as live up to your principle, call someone out, deny a call out, resist shifting your balance, losing your balance, all of which can come into play. And we have combat exchanges, so an explanation of how combat works in the game, um, including running exchanges, beginning of combat, uh, combatants, 
approaches and techniques. Um, so things like the stance move. Uh, before we get into step-by-step -step exchange and how that works, um, statuses which can come from the exchange, such as you know, we've got doomed, empowered, favoured, impaired, inspired, prepared, stunned, trapped, um, and then so explanations of each of these when they come into effect. And then the basic techniques uh, that the player characters and NPCs can use, uh, so trainings um, that can be used in combat, so we've got defend and approach, uh, um, um, approach with the options here, which include uh, ready, retaliate, seize a position, advance attack approach, strike, pressure, and smash. Turn over if I can get the page to flip because it's actually this is actually really quite the production values on this is actually really high. Um, you know, it's quite sturdy paper as well. So, evade and observe approach, and that includes test and balance, test balance, bolster or hinder, or commit. Before we have advancement, which in terms of things like growth. Um, and growth advancements and we even have advanced techniques so learned practiced and mastered attacks uh, specialized bending and so on so that's essentially how the mechanics work how, and how ele elements of the game are brought uh, the setting are brought into play advice for the game master on running the game uh, including what the GM what the, G the game master's role is what the game master does, so which is portray the rest of the world, adjudicate the rules, encourages everyone to participate, provide structure and coherence. And the, the game master also has his own series of moves, their own series of moves, um, you know, inflict fatigue or a condition, reveal a hidden truth, shift their balance, twist loyalties with tempting offers, escalate to violence, offer a risky or costly opportunity, threaten someone, shift the odds, suddenly exploit a weakness in their history, provide wisdom in unlikely places, then turn turn and move back on them so there's the list and then you're going to go for essentially each of these is explained in further detail below um so and moves occur when um but from the from the game master when a player rolls and misses a roll or rolls a miss there's a little in the action uh, or a player grants you an opportunity uh, so you've got advice on creating npcs um and on running fight scenes. Um, and then advice on actually using the quick start. So, I mean, this thing is, uh, let's have a look. I'm trying to page count. I don't see any page numbers on here. Um, well, let's see. So yeah, it's, it's 64 pages. So, and all of that, that half is rules uh, before we get on to the second half, which is going to be the scenario and the pre-generated characters. So movers and shakers in the core era, um, how to use this adventure, and then the, the nice view of the setting, We've got a summary, um, and essentially of the scenario, of, and then Sango, Lady of Winds, the NPC, Creeping Crystal Triad attacks, tensions on set, and how does it end? So you've got a, quite a solid overview there um, before we get to the introduction and what happens next. So what now? Uh, and then important groups. So characters and groups. So we've got the various NPCs. Sadly not illustrated. Whoa! Just the wind is just picking up a bit. Let's see if I can put that back up. Um, so yeah, all the MPs, important NPCs, um, as I say, certainly not illustrated. Um, so many uh, locations, but they've got detailed descriptions. And then advice for the game master, including uh, escalations, leaving the studio, staying at the studio, being a good mover and then the pre-gens so you've got explanations of how they work how they advance 
an adventure hook, and then an overview of uh, each one. So we've got one, two, th one, two, three, four, five there. Um, and then four sheets for each. So Erdine, the Prodigy, uh, complete with fighting techniques on the background and then some on the back and then some background. And a similar thing for um, Quatcha, the Guardian. Uh, fighting techniques, background, and then Thai, the Hammer. Uh, and Mika, the Idealist. So you've got quite detailed characters here. Uh, and then Dai, Dai, the Successor. Um, and then you've got a reference there for things like basic moves, balance moves, combat exchanges, and then techniques. So that's everything necessary to run um, a scenario for Avatar Legends, the role-playing game, essentially the scenario movers and shakers with this quick start. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, I do appreciate you taking the time to post those. Um, and if you want to be alerted to get more unboxings in the nook where you will be... Um, where I will essentially um, unbox a book or game, or in this case, a quick start released for Free RPG Day 2023, and talk about it to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea, then please do click on the subscribe button down below. In the meantime, thanks again to David Salisbury Fanboy 3 for providing this copy for me to unbox and discuss and review and um, thanks also to you for watching another unboxing in the nook i will be back again soon with another one bye for now